Hi, I'm Dr. Mutta Bandavar. I work here in Pace Hospital High Tech City as an obstetrician and gynecologist. So today I'm here to discuss about ectopic pregnancy. Any pregnancy outside in endometrial cavity is called as an ectopic pregnancy outside the uterus. So it can be inside the uterus but maybe in the cesarean scar or uh, in the near the cornuas or even in the cervix. Any pregnancy outside like in the tubes or in the ovaries or anywhere uh, in the extraperitoneal or intraperitoneal. So that is generally any pregnancy normal outside the normal endometrial line. The most common cause is pelvic inflammatory disease. Uh, basically, we are referring to self injectives. Now, what is self injectives? Generally, in normal people, uh, an fallopian tube is lined by cilia like structure which is helping in the peristalsis that is it is helping eggs to pass inside the uterus whenever uh, in this patients in patients of self injectives this hair like structures are not working or they are damaged due to the infection so what happens the eggs which will come and stay in the tube when they get fertilized they are not able to go in uh, inside the uterus and many of the times it will stay there only and lead to ectopic removal then other causes like uh, failure of contraceptive devices like for example intrauterine device in that many times uh, because of uh, any failure reasons it can lead to um, ectopic pregnancies other than that progesterone only pills if you are taking progesterone only pills once in a while there are rare, rare possibilities that because uh, it will lead to disturbance in the tubular motility there can be ectopic pregnancy chance uh, the others can be uh, failure of contraception like uh, in case when you have underwent sometimes in family planning surgery in that cases uh, there is a risk of re-epithelization because of which again a tubal ectopic can happen uh, even intrauterine devices can uh, might lead to ectopic pregnancy sometimes uh, while receiving infertility treatment because of unknown reasons there can be a risk of ectopic pregnancy other than that prior abortions because of which you could have had some infections which might ascend and lead to any ectopic pregnancy uh, also some uh, reconstructive surgery is done for the tu uh, tubes or any time uh, if there are some pelvic adhesions uh, which might lead to uh, ectopic pregnancy even if you have any developmental defects uh, like elongation of tubes uh, or at times any problem that also lead to ectopic pregnancy. Uh, these days there are uh, there is increased infertility because of which the treatment for infertility is also increased now uh, in this cases there is increased risk of ectopic also so the other reasons are more sexually transmitted infections and more uh, PA pelvic inflammatory diseases also more sexual partners are is also a very important reason for having ectopic pain. So, uh, first of all, multiple sexual partner. It is very important reason of you getting pelvic inflammatory disease and, and vice versa. Also, uh, increased incidence of uh, infertility because of which the number of infertility treatment has increased. And so, the incidence of uh, this uh, ectopic has also increased. Also, the increase in the rate of uh, sexually transmitted infections because of which also uh, there is increase in the incidence of uh, ectopic pregnancy. So uh, basically we can broadly classify into three types, uh, acute which is ruptured ectopic pregnancy or unruptured ectopic pregnancy and chronic or old ectopic pregnancy. Ruptured or acute ectopic pregnancy is uh, in which uh, generally the tube or for example wherever it is pregnancy is there, that part uh, basically we are referring to uh, tubal pregnancy because that's a 90% chances of tubal pregnancy only and the other pregnancies are rare. So we, uh, we will talk about tubal pregnancies only mostly so tubal pregnancy when it is ruptured is when the tube has ruptured and the pregnancy is tried to come out and in that case there is excessively bleeding because of which the patient presents in acute conditions so that is why it is called as ruptured ectopic pregnancy so unruptured ectopic pregnancy is in which the uh, pregnancy is still inside the tube and there is uh, no bleeding or anything which is starting in the abdomen and uh, the patients might just present with the mis 
such a period or even in early pregnancies chronic or old ectopic pregnancies are the pregnancies in which the patient has already taken the treatment which has succeeded or even sometimes acute pain might have happened to the patient but with time it has succeeded and now the patient comes with a prolonged amenorrhea that is no periods for a long time this pregnancy patients uh, come with acute symptoms like pain in the abdomen in 100% of patients uh, some patients uh, also have amenorrhea which is at least 45 to 60 days of uh, last periods or sometimes they even come with a regular period but the first period might be just like a spotting or uh, other the uh, uh, in symptom is vaginal bleeding they might have started getting brownish discharge by the vagina which is also one of the symptom of uh, rupture ectopic pregnancy but the main 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 reason is pain in abdomen okay severe excruciating pain even uh, pain in the chest it can be uh, irritation of diaphragm that is excruciating it causes excruciating pain in chest uh, these patients generally present with uh, similar symptoms they have uh, pregnancy like uh, symptoms also they have uh, delayed periods sometimes spotting might be there some brownish discharge also a colicky type of pain pain which comes and go or a pain which is like uh, uh, molding pain in the abdomen sometimes they come with uh, a vaginal discharge uh, so these symptoms can be there in uh, unruptured pregnancy chronic or uh, old ectopic pregnancy generally these patients come with uh, fever uh, some dull aching pain sometimes even retention of urine or increase in the frequency of urine fever why because uh, there is a risk of infection because of prolonged ectopic and also they present with a pain which was there uh, in the past like excruciating pain but now it has settled down and now they have dull aching pain and sometimes brownish discharge per vagina this all symptoms might be there in uh, a chronic ectopic pregnancy. Basically, uh, any unmarried, married patient, a uh, sexually active female coming to us uh, with a history of all this, as I said, uh, with pain in abdomen, all these findings, uh, whichever we uh, just discussed. Other than that, uh, we do a beta HCG test to confirm uh, there uh, is pregnancy. And other than that, an ultrasound abdomen pelvis would be enough to diagnose uh, uh, ectopic pregnancy. Uh, or in some cases, in some unknown cases, we also go for laparoscopy in which we can even intervene the pregnancy if needed. Uh, any uh, female uh, in the age group of 20 to 35 years present with uh, excruciating abdominal pain or any pain uh, with the missed period of brownish vaginal discharge uh, with a history of unprotected intercourse or even protected intercourse in, even in some cases of uh, uh, regular periods also. Uh, any patients with pain in abdomen, first we do is beta HCG. Beta HCG at least rules out if there is pregnancy. And also uh, abdomen pelvis scan. Uh, in cases where there, are, where there is excruciating pain like in ruptured pregnancy in that uh, there is no time to waste it's a uh, uh, indication to directly go for laparoscopy and uh, remove the tube as well as remove the pregnancy in rupture ectopic pregnancy it's an emergency situation it's a life-threatening situation uh, because it's like uh, there is like an open tap which is left inside because uh, the pregnancy has ruptured and the tube has started to bleed so uh, the time we take uh, for surgery is very important it is very very crucial to immediately uh, go for the surgery as the surgery is laparoscopy uh, which will be removed uh, the tube will be removed that is called as laparoscopy cells injectomy uh, we will also carry the blood loss by giving blood transfusion and even fluids that is IV fluids. Uh, treatment of unruptured pregnancy. Unruptured pregnancy has uh, two choice of treatment. First is medical treatment and so another one is definitely surgical treatment. So medical treatment depends on some values that is beta HCG value. We check for beta HCG if it is less than 3000 international unit we can uh, we can think of opting for medical uh, treatment. In that case we uh, give some drugs also uh, 
USG findings are very important. USG findings is in which GSAC is less than 4 cm, uh, the fetal heart is not yet formed or uh, there is no signs and symptoms of any bleeding in the abdomen. Uh, in that case, we can uh, give a medical trial. In that, we give some injections and we do a serial evaluation of beta HCG. Uh, if it is decreasing with the uh, dates we tell you to do, in that case, we can continue with medical termination of uh, ectopic pregnancy. Then surgical uh, termination, surgical has uh, two options that is self-ingostomy and self-injectomy. In self-injectomy, we remove the tube along with the pregnancy and uh, in self-ingostomy, uh, a tube is, uh, pregnancy is just taken out from the uh, tube and the tube is kept as it is. But uh, in uh, but there is a risk of repeated uh, ectopic in the same tube because of uh, any damage epithelium, any damage to cilia that we were discussing before. Treatment of chronic or old ectopic pregnancy. So, uh, first of all, correction of any infection factor. Uh, correction by giving some antibiotics and uh, uh, fluids if needed. And uh, then removal of the uh, tube which has pregnancy along with the pregnancy. In cases of ruptured ectopic pregnancy, it's a very emergency and life-threatening situation. Uh, in that case, because of uh, bleeding in the abdomen and the blood loss, there is a lot of bleeding in the abdomen which can cause definitely pain. Patient can end up in uh, uh, shock and uh, it can lead to mortality also. Uh, in cases of unruptured pregnancy, if the pregnancy is resolved, that is a good thing. Uh, or might lead to again rupture eventually by the growing pregnancy. Or in some cases, if the pregnancy is not completely gone, it might lead to a chronic or old abdomen pregnancy. Yes, uh, even in ruptured or in uh, unruptured ectopic pregnancy, both can be an emergency situation because an unruptured pregnancy might rupture with the growth of the pregnancy uh, or uh, there can be any infections and uh, because of which also it can uh, definitely rupture and cause emergency conditions. In cases of ruptured pregnancy, uh, since there is a bleeding in the abdomen, uh, there is blood loss, patient might go into shock or even mortality. So, as we were discussing, ectopic pregnancy is not a pregnancy which is in the normal uterine cavity. It is anywhere outside that. So, anywhere outside that, like for most commonly, it is in the tubes. In the tube, there is no place. You imagine tube is like a refill, like a refill. That much place can definitely not occupy your baby. And it cannot slide down by itself and uh, come in the uterus. So, definitely, uh, ectopic pregnancy cannot survive. Uh, so, red, but yes, uh, in case if it is unruptured uh, pregnancy with the beta HCG less than 1000 international unit and in the ultrasound, if there is no signs and symptoms of uh, uh, any bleeding, in that case, that's like an expected management, expectant management we do for an unruptured pregnancy. In that case, we just observe with the serial beta HCG value uh, to see if the beta HCG value is uh, coming down in that case it might be resolved on its own uh, otherwise there is very uh, less chances of it going on its own Uh, yes, it increases in ectopic pregnancy, but the increase is not like the increase in normal pregnancy. In normal pregnancy, it doubles in 48 to 72 hours, uh, but in ectopic pregnancy, it does not double in uh, 24 to 40, 48 to 72 hours. It just increases expo uh, slowly, slow by. Uh, it's not corresponding to the value of uh, missed period or the gestation set. Uh, yes, uh, an ectopic pregnancy symptoms might be similar uh, to or a patient might also be mistaken for uh, appendicitis, a ruptured uh, chocolate cyst or even a corpus luteum cyst or even an ovarian torsion, uh, even in cases of perforated peptic ulcer might present with the similar pain in abdomen and uh, similar complaints. 
yes, uh, in that case, uh, sometimes many times patients present with a regular cycle, uh, still with a UPT positive or uh, uh, presenting with pain in abdomen. Uh, so uh, patients do come with a regular cycle. Uh, it can be present because uh, since the pregnancy is outside the tube, uh, the bleeding from intrauterine cavity might still happen. So, uh, a pregnancy test kit might show a faint, faint pink positive line or even a dark positive line uh, also, but it doesn't confirm uh, the ectopic pregnancy. The confirmation definitely is done by a ultrasound or a laparoscopy only. Uh, but even if the UPT is negative, that is a pregnancy test kit is negative, uh, it doesn't even rule out ectopic Uh, no, uh, normal pregnancy is inside the uterine cavity and ectopic pregnancy that is an outside pregnancy cannot migrate into the cavity by its own and so it cannot be converted to normal pregnancy on its own uh, or neither can we do it by any surgeries. We have to intervene the ectopic pregnancy and plan for a normal pregnancy again. So it's not uh, because of the infertility treatment, but yeah, because of the stimulation given to the ovaries and because of many other reasons, uh, there is risk of ectopic pregnancy due to uh, affected tubal motility because of the drugs. Yes, it is rare, but yes, birth control pills can cause, especially progesterone only pills, uh, that pills affect the tubal motility because of which ectopic pregnancy risk increases.